Hi everybody, welcome back to the Zenith 750 Super Duty build. Believe it or not, I am making progress on this airplane. I have a whole bunch of video clips on my memory cards and I'm going to try to take those and put together some videos so I can kind of get rid of that, clean up the memory cards, and then move on from there. So in this video, I want to show you how I'm using the plastilina clay to make a mold to get ready to lay up the fiberglass uh, for the, uh, the tail here. Now, I'm not gonna show you the actual fiberglass because I've made like three or four videos on how they do that, but I did make the, uh, the mold here a little bit differently. On my um, cruiser, I used uh, putty and, and Bondo and stuff like that and shaped it. This stuff here, I tried something different using this plastilina. It's just a clay. And it's not real easy to work with. In fact, I think I like the other way better because you can kind of put on some Bondo, sand it to the shape you want. This is maybe a little bit easier because you're not sanding, but it, it's a little bit harder to work with. Now, as you watch this video, I'm going to show you how I did this, but keep in mind, I am far from an expert on using this clay. Uh, you guys might be experts and you're gonna see everything I'm doing wrong and it's probably gonna frustrate you, but it worked for me. You know, I might not have done it the best way, but I got it on there and I covered it with tape here. All I have to do is put some Vaseline over here um, as a release agent and then I'm ready to lay up the fiberglass. So this side is done. I just have to finish up the right side. Both sides will be ready. And then uh, next week, Len is gonna come out here and, uh, and help me get these laid up so this will finally get done. Well, like I said, I have a bunch of clips on my memory card. I think I filmed this clip just showing that I spun the airplane around 180 degrees just so the tail is more back into the workshop where I need to work. This next clip, I put some red towels on the end of the stabilizer just to uh, make it more noticeable because I sort of have a habit of walking right into the edge because I don't see it. I've already showed you guys the right side of the airplane. This is that plastiline putty that's in the corner. And what I'll do next is, after I get this, the putty on the other side, I'll put the black electrical tape on here to cover up that curve so that the, the resin isn't sticking to that putty. But I haven't done that yet because I wanna make sure I get the pilot side or the left side of the airplane as close to the other side as I can. And you can see I already have it taped off here. I use mostly duct tape. And then anywhere there's curves that I need the tape to go around, uh, I use the electrical tape. So this in the corner here just seals up that corner so that when I push that putty in there, it doesn't go inside there. Uh, and then this right here is kind of a mess, but it doesn't matter. It's just covered with tape any way I could get it because there'll be a big blob of putty over that anyway. Uh, and then the bottom I have taped off and just a little bit on the side. Now the fairing's only gonna come down probably about like this. So I just have this little extra taped off just to be safe. Same with up here, the fairing's only gonna come back to about right here, kind of like this. And then down like that. So what I'll do now is add the putty to this side. Once everything's taped off, I'm starting with this mounting bracket because obviously the fairing is going to have a nice big curve around here. So this is going to be the biggest chunk of putty. So all I'm doing is just cutting off big chunks and putting it in here. It doesn't have to be neat because all I'm doing is just building up a large area here. Now this is a two pound brick of this plastilina. And what I do is I just cut off a chunk of it just like that. And I'll use a hair dryer to warm it up because once it's warm, it's a lot more pliable and a lot easier to work with. Now with it being softer, it's a lot easier to push into these corners. In fact, some people I've seen on online will take that entire block and they'll put it in the oven for a little bit to warm it up. I could have done that, but for me, it was just easier to cut off little chunks and heat it up with my hair dryer. Well, I've built it up quite a bit here just to get over that big hump. It's obviously not complete or shaped perfectly yet. And I, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit lumpy, which is okay. I'll smooth that out later. But now what I wanna do is get some longer pieces to go in the corner here and then also up around here. Now I wanna turn this clump into sort of a, a round, like a straw. 
So what I can do is I can do this, roll it in my hands, and you see it starts to take shape. But when you do that, it's gonna be very lumpy, obviously because of your hands. So I found a little bit better way that I do it. So what I do is I lay it on a workbench here and I just take a piece of wood. <laughs> And you can see how it starts to roll out and it's nice and straight. All right, guys, I got interrupted by my neighbor's dog, Piper. <laughs> anyway, you can see when I roll this out, uh, it's just a much nice straighter piece that I, that, that I can form into that corner. By rubbing my fingers lengthwise here, eventually it works out all of those lumps and gets it into a nice smooth curve. I even tried to experiment with a short piece of uh, wooden dowel rod because I thought that might help get that nice curve or transition from the vertical to the horizontal stabilizer. Um, and it worked okay, but what I noticed was after a while the putty or that clay would just start to stick to the wood and it would start tearing it up. So I had mediocre results with this method. All right, fast forward a few weeks or whatever, and this is this side all done. All the, the clay is in there and shaped. I have it taped over, uh, ready to go. And I also have this side ready also. So both sides now are ready for fiberglass. I have the, uh, the fiberglass cloth uh, all set out and ready to go. So like I said, next week, this should be laid up and done. By the way, this is what that clay looks like. I'll put a link to Amazon if you guys wanna try this. Now what's inter interesting about this stuff, if I've had this sitting out on my workbench here for a month or so, and every time I come over here, this smells so good. It smells like chocolate or something. I wanna take a bite out of it. Well, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad I got this posted finally because now I can clear out my memory card and continue filming the rest of the build. We are approaching 20,000 subscribers on this channel now, which honestly doesn't really mean anything, but it's kind of cool to see the channel grow. Uh, so I appreciate you guys uh, subscribing to the channel if you like the content, and uh, if you would, give the video a thumbs up as that somehow helps promote the videos. See you again on the next one.